Hello everyone and welcome to Civic Platform. Today I'm visiting Youth Barbecue. This event it's run by uh, Manitoba Islamic Association. They gather all the youth for the community to build their network and to know each other and to feel more confident in Winnipeg. So let's see what they are doing. Salam alaikum everyone. Thank you Zahir for having us at your show, Civic Platform. My name is Walid al Kitab, and I work for the Manitoba Islamic Association as a youth director. My role with the, Islam with the Manitoba Islamic Association uh, plays a huge part in creating activities for the youth, our Muslim teenagers and younger kids as well. For today's event we have a barbecue event running from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. with 71 participants. We have about 10 volunteers helping to make this happen. Our youth today will be very engaged with everyone here. They will get to do sport activities such as soccer, volleyball and badminton. Uh, we are providing the food for free. We're, uh, we're helping to build a better connection here uh, between all our youth and um, I'm very thankful for, for you to have us in your show. Um, you could go ahead with whatever questions you have for me. Uh, Winnipeg is a really, really small city, but we have a huge community here. Our Muslims uh, youth, they come from a lot of different backgrounds and different cultures. We focus on creating a lot of events to bring all these cultures together. So today here we have a lot of Middle Easterns, a lot of Pakistanis, Afghanis, Nigerians, uh, all those teenagers, the, their religion, their, their, their culture kind of is different, but the religion is the same. Uh, we do those activities to bring all those cultures together. Canada is a multicultural uh, country and we focus on, you know, making that happen more often, um, help them make friends, uh, help them be in a safe zone, supervised, and we, we try to run those activities, especially during the summer and winter, since our summer is very short and our winter is very extreme. Um, yeah, so that's mainly the, the point is just to build up a better and a stronger community. So for events like this, such as today, with a barbecue and a sport ac activity, mainly focuses on making a, uh, a better uh, leadership skills for all the youth where they learn how to uh, organize such events like today's event a lot of our youth are helping in making it happen um, and also it, it builds up a better communication and network for the youth where they get to make friends that might go to the same schools that they go to or they're s finishing high school and they're about to go to uni and then they make those friends where they get uh, a better communication and network so, for example, a lot of our youth are stepping into uni and they don't know anybody going to that same university. They get to make those friends that are going maybe into the same field, doing the same study. And then when they go into those schools, they will have friends that are there with them. Um, we do have a lot of other activities where are, they're more educational based, but these are usually held at the mosque. Our mosque runs a big facility where we, ha we have a lot, of, um, a lot of space, safe space, gym, um, educational pl uh, places where we, we run um, educational events, programming, um, critical awareness about a lot of stuff that happens within our city. So see, um, being a teenager is, a, is tricky in a way. Uh, a lot of the youth won't show up for any event you make unless you make them want to. Uh, you got to give them the reasons to come. That's why we run different events from now to then. Um, so like today it's a barbecue, there, it's not educational related. Um, it's not education related, it's more focused on coming here, making new friends and having a fun time. Um, they come here, they make those friends, those friends might come to a different event where it's educational base or, or uh, culture awareness or whatever the, the topic is, and then they have a better reason to go to those kind of events. We try to add on to all, of our, uh, to all our event 
um, a spark of fun where you come, it's safe, you make friends, uh, you have a little bit of fun, there's a lot of food, um, you know, here and there you, you get to do sports um, and that usually kind of attract them to, to feel like, oh, I want to go and try to do this, oh, I want to go and meet those new people, you know, oh, I want to meet new people from a different background um, and whatever such. Maybe I want to meet new friends from my own background that I haven't got to meet anywhere else. Um, so yeah, our events bring teenagers from all over the city. It's not only from the south, it's not only from the north. Uh, we, today we're in St. Vital Park, uh, some other day we'll be at Waverly. Um, maybe in a month from now we'll be all the way downtown at our facility which is called MIA, MIA Connection. Uh, in the middle of downtown we have a big, uh, a big space there that we, we also run a lot of events. We also have a facility in St. Vital uh, that we call a Pioneer Mosque. So it is, it is tricky, but when, when you put the work for it, when you really try and attract those youth with the, with the right marketing, with the right advertisement, um, and you get them to come to this safe space, um, it, is, it is good enough. It just having them, having them in a safe space, making friends, having some fun, uh, being supervised, the family are, are happy that their, their, their kids, their teenagers are, are going out, having the fun that they need with the right friends, with the right supervision, it is an achievement. So my name is Hidaya El Gofloran and I am a summer camp manager at the MIA. Um, in the summer camp we usually do activities uh, ranging from inside the gym, at the masjid or outside, just depending on the day. And we do field trips and a whole bunch of different other things for the kids in the community. Um, and I'm also a volunteer for the youth group. Um, it's the Manitoba Youth Group. Um, and basically we plan events and volunteer at events for um, the, like the youth. Every week for us, we've decided to focus on a culture. And for a said culture, we find crafts and different activities based off of that culture. So let's say like last week we had a French Canadian culture. So we made little uh, voyageur hats and we made beaver tails, which is like a traditional French Canadian food. And we went on a field trip to Lower Fort Garry, which is like a French Canadian based um, like field trip type thing. And it's really important for them to come or for the kids to come and have fun with other Muslim kids because like that's how a community grows. So they learn on different cultures since we want to be more inclusive with other religions as well. Um, we've decided to only base our camp off cultures and we do throw in some Quran classes and a whole bunch of different things but we really do want to be sensitive to other religions. Basically I find that after COVID everyone sort of shut down and was like really secluded in what they were doing and so um, with these events our, our main goal is to bring everyone else everyone together and so by doing this we create like new friends we meet new people and it's a way for us to connect and communicate with others so in our events in every program we create we always have age limits proper supervision we go by the ratio that ad, you know advised by the Manitoba Islamic Association um, and we we plan them ahead of time we always have registration ahead of time we get the consent form set up already before the event happens so the family know where they're dropping off their kids they could attend as well they know what time to pick up uh, they know that every event is supervised well enough um, we have always more than enough volunteers to do uh, to help with the supervision and the setup and the cleanup and whatever. Um, so that's the start of the process. We we establish that trust because we have we have enough volunteers and we have enough help coming from the from the community. Now the next step is uh, when when the youth are here, we got to keep them engaged with different activities, uh, and then they eventually. They, they pick up, they, they pick up you know, on principles, on, on education, on manners, uh, basic knowledge, um, and directly. 
Like it doesn't have to be, oh, you got to come, you got to sit for a class. I'm going to teach you this. I'm going to teach you that. We here at our events, we don't only bring the kids and we tell them, oh, I'm going to teach you this. We make sure the event is fun. They come. Uh, they're always welcome as who they are and how they are. They don't need to change to fit with, with our community. Our community includes a lot of cultures. So when, when teenagers show up, they can be dressed up as, as they wish. They can be however they like. And our doors are always not only open for the Muslim community, but also open for a non-Muslim. Um, we do focus though, we do focus on supporting our Muslim community that includes a lot of different cultures, but we leave our door open for anybody else as well. Uh, well, uh, my name is Ayan Khan and I'm here just as a participant in this event, like I'm here just, you know, as a participant in like it's a uh, great community involvement, so this is why I came. I think it's good to show that we are like in numbers as well and like show like all the youth as well that there's all these Muslims that they could like you know be friend with each other and you know they could like do things together as well like I think it's a good like community like bringing us together sort of you know like uh, I did enjoy um, just kind of hanging out with my other friends and stuff and just meeting new people I think it was great you know? I would just encourage them just by talking about like how engaging it is with the community and how like important it is that we need to be together and strong as a community because you know there's not that many Muslims in the West and I think coming together like this, especially as with Muslims, is very beneficial to all of us as a whole. So I would, I would say it is one of the first reasons that I got this job, that the age, um, I'm, I can still very much relate to teenagers' life, but I'm also married, established, and I'm finished with my school. Um, so at the, t at the same time, I could balance between the fun that they have, they can see me as a fun person, I can relate to whatever they want to do, and while being mature enough to run and uh, organize events like that. Uh, so that's one of the things that helped me get along with all those youth. So I don't treat them as, as students, I don't treat them as, um, you know, nothing else but friends. So we, we build up that trust connection, we build up that connection where Hey, there is rules. You're here. You gotta, you gotta respect everybody. You gotta be helpful with whoever is around you. Uh, but at the same time, you can also have fun. So it is really, a, you know, a balance between all. Um, one of the, I would say, one of the, the only struggle is while you get to know that that youth or that person who's who's signing up with you to to join you in a lot of the activities you run. It is mainly building that connection. I can be your friend, but I'm also going to be providing for you all the fun that you would like to go uh, to, whether it's an event or a program. So once you build up that connection with the youth, and the youth see you as someone that they could look up to, but also as someone who could be fun and a, a fun to be around, um, then we're good. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, we, we've been establishing, like I know a lot of the youth in, in my community, um, a lot of the events that I run could be about a hundred, a hundred kids. Uh, sometimes, especially the we have something called halakas, and halakas, uh, in those halakas usually they run for only a few hours, so it's one to two, maximum of three hours. Uh, we have speakers that could come from outside the province to educate uh, those kids, um, you know, about daily problems, about anything they they could go through. Always, it's a different topic, um, and then. So in, in events like that, it's always uh, held within the space of the mosque. Uh, our mosque looks more like a community center and it can, uh, we can always have up to 300 participants in, in our events. Um, so our, commu our community has, has built up so much in the past few years and I've got to know so many teenagers in my community and they, they don't look to me as, as, a, you know, as a youth director, they don't look to me as a coordinator for any of the events. They look to me more as a friend, and that, you know, a friend who could be an older brother, who would who would be there, who would help you to have that fun that you want while being supervised. You don't, you, you're not, you, you don't necessarily you need need your parent with you. Um, it is kind of tricky to have, you know, some some kids don't like or teenagers don't like their parent being around them, so they always look for that older brother or someone that could look up to you who can have who could let them have all the fun they want safely, but also, uh, but also you, know, you know, feeling independent at the same time. 
Uh, hi, my name is Rodwin Lai Badmus, and I'm a grade 11, uh, going into grade 12 student at Windsor Park Collegiate. So uh, I came out here today to spend some time with my friends, my family, uh, get out in the Muslim community. Uh, it's always good when you have that very uh, community environment, and I believe that's something that we have here and something that we deeply value within the Muslim community. Oh, it's definitely important, you know, getting the youth out, uh, bringing them together, getting them to uh, interact with others such as themselves and people that they know, it brings in that tight-knit uh, community feeling, right? So it's always like, oh, at school you see your friends and you see these type of people that are like, yeah, they're your friends, but they're, some kind, they're a little bit different than you. But you know, when we really get out in the community and we get to see our friends and family, I think that's super important. Our community is built from so many different cultures. Our different cultures come with different languages. And some of them are born here, uh, some have emigrated. I myself have emigrated here a long time ago, about 10 years ago. But I know what it feels like to be an immigrant, uh, to build up those connections, to make those friends. Um, and I, I have struggled through it. When I moved here, I did not speak English. And it was, it was a struggle itself just to make few friends. Uh, so we do focus on opening our doors to all the immigrants. Uh, we welcome them regardless of what their English uh, language level is. Um, and we know that this, having this is a plus just to, to, to get there, you know, to have the language um, level that you need uh, to go to school or to have the friends that you want to be with. Uh, but yeah, our, we, we do have a lot of immigrants that come to our events. And we do have a lot of people that were born here as well. So we have that connection where our, our community uh, has some that were born here and they're so familiar with the city and then they meet somebody that just moved here and they help them along the way. They help them with school advices. They help them with, you know, uh, going somewhere, you know, or like knowing about getting more familiar with the city, really, you want to say. We, even during the pandemic, we, we kept going on and on. It was a lot harder to stay connected with the, with the community, um, with the youth. It is really tricky to get those youth intrigued, you know, to go on an online meeting or, you know, just to stay connected in, in general. Uh, we, we tried to go, we did our best to stay connected virtually. We had weekly meetings. We still do, but now it's in person. Uh, we do weekly meetings. Um, our meetings usually involve planning. We try to hear from the from the from our youth council. Oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to What do you want to see down the road? What kind of event would you be interested in, um, in general? Uh, but back during the pandemic, um, we had about 50 people that would join our weekly to biweekly meetings, um, and that was not easy to maintain. But it was, it, you know, it was more work um, and we went through it and Alhamdulillah now we're back to in person and, and things are going very well. But we did stay connected. Uh, we, we always had, uh, we have our group um, that rounds about 100 participants, I want to say. And we, I do want to mention as well that we also have um, we, ha we, we build the better connections for our youth where if they're looking for a job, if they're looking for reference, if they want to do volunteers, they do get a chance to do all that. So when our youth want to volunteer, they come up, we do a consent forum, we have them volunteer at, at our mosque. And like I mentioned, it's more like a community service um, and a community um, place. Um, also, we do have a summer camp, so a lot of our youth come and say, oh, we want to volunteer with your summer camp, and it's like a summer school. Um, sometimes our youth will come up and say, oh, we, we're looking for a job. Can you help me find a job? So we send them to the right place. We do have a good connection with a lot of nonprofit organizations that hire a lot of, you know, uh, teenagers that are looking for jobs and whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, pandemic was a harsh time for everyone and we, we, we tried our best to go through it and stay connected and stay safe. Um, my name is Laili. I work at the MIA at the summer, summer camp. I'm a summer camp counselor at the mosque and I help with the kids. So basically I teach them new things about Islam. I, play, I do activities with them. I, we take them on field trips 
and then if there's like things they want to talk about, things that they are unaware of, things they want to learn about Islam, so they would ask us and we'd answer that and we'd teach them that. It's important because um, personally for me, in the past years, I wasn't very like, I didn't know about these kind of stuff and I wasn't very like, like I wasn't very aware of it and I didn't come to these events. But now that I'm coming, I realize that it's, it's important to have these things because there are people from different countries, different cultures, different backgrounds that come together in this one event and then they meet new people, make new friends, learn about each other's cultures and learn about each other's backgrounds. So that teaches us a lot, a lot of stuff and you, can, you get to learn the value of each other's cultures. Personally, when I came here, it was very hard for me to like get in with the Western culture. So when I started making friends from like the same religion, same culture, it made me more confident in my religion. It made me like want to be more like in with the culture and be more like aware of the culture. It made me more confident because when I came in here, when I came here, I wasn't wearing the hijab in the beginning. So once I started meeting new people, I met like I made new friends, hijabi friends, people from different culture. I learned the value of Islam, and then I learned the, uh, like what's the uh, actual meaning behind Islam, and then like what's why is it important to wear hijab and all that stuff. And then that's how I learned to wear the hijab. So if there, so I would really recommend like newcomers co uh, coming to these events, meeting new people. Because from this, they will learn other stuff that they will need to learn from this. And then from these gatherings, they will learn English that they can use in other events, in, in school and in other stuff. Volunteering is important because you're helping your community. Because if you, if, you if you can't help your community, uh, you, can't, like, you won't be able to help others. So it's good to help yourself, help others and then be more, uh, be um, in this, uh, and volunteer for this, uh, for in the community because then you're getting sadaqa on your own but you're also helping uh, others because the because for in the Eid prayer when i was getting the donation i was i was getting sadaqa for myself but i was also helping raise money for the mosque for uh, um like others uh, other communities that they will that will need the help that will need the money for their uh, things yeah like honestly volunteering it helps a lot in getting a new job because they they look at your experience and they look at your volunteer experiences too so it's better to volunteer and then get the job because that's how I got the summer camp counselor because I was volunteering a lot and then from that I started volunteering in other events like the Eid prayer and then these barbecue events and then the Eid carnival those kind of events so our teenagers youth group um, age rounds from 14 to you want to say 18, 19, sometimes we'll have some people with the 20 years old. Um, and a lot of them do need to build up, especially the 14, 15 years old, uh, do, need up, uh, do need to build up the, uh, their resume. Uh, so they come and they would like to do a volunteer. A lot of the parents very much love to see their kids at a safe place doing volunteering in a safe zone. Uh, so we offer that. Be and because we have this, we do have a lot of programming, we do have a lot of events, so we always encourage our youth to do the volunteering, get that experience, put it on your resume, get a reference going, and inshallah, soon enough, they eventually get a job. And we usually help them as well to get that connection to eventually get those jobs. Um, finally, I would like to add on that I would advise every one of our youth to come forward and join us as much as you can, whenever is convenient, uh, get to make all the friends, make sure you make, you know, get to know those good friends from your community. It could be from different, they could be from different cultures, but that's okay. Uh, we're all different, but we're all equal, right? So uh, come forward, meet new friends, uh, be, be, with, be at, at places where you know and your family would know that you're safe, still have some fun. Get to learn a little bit about different people and different cultures. Salam alaikum and thank you so much Suhair for having me in your show. It was a pleasure and uh, would love to see you again. We reach the end of our episode. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to see our upcoming episodes.